In this playlist, we're going to start talking about some of the details of object orientation in Scala. So the previous playlist was largely just an overview of object orientation in a class-based language. Most of what we talked about applied to any class-based object-oriented language. The contents of this playlist will contain a lot more things that are very specific to Scala. So we're going to go ahead and we'll make a new package. And we'll call it OO details. And we can close those down. And the example that I want to start off by creating, I'm going to use it to illustrate a lot of the different things that we can do in Scala, is a 2D vector class. So we will originally create a class. We'll call it Vec2D. Now, for those of you who might not remember your uh, mathematics, a vector is a value that has a magnitude and a direction to it. We also often express it breaking it up into components. So for example, and I'm going to make this an immutable vector class, we will change that. Uh, well, we'll write another version as well that is 3D. But we're going to have an X and a Y component. You can communicate this in other ways as well. These are what are called Cartesian coordinates. We could also use polar coordinates where we had a, an R value, which would be a magnitude and an angle uh, for the orientation of that. And now we could write methods for the types of things that we are able to do with our 2D vector. So for example, we should be able to add two of these together. So I could write a method called plus, where I pass in another vec2d, and when I add these together, I'm going to get a vec2d, and I'll just say new vec2d, where the components are just the sum of the components. So the current x plus v dot x, and the current y plus v dot y. So that does addition for us. Well, close relative to addition is subtraction. So I will call that minus. And then instead of adding here, we'll just replace these with subtraction. I'm going to write another method in here called scale. Now I'm going to scale by a scalar value, which is just a double in Scala. And so this would be a new vec2d where both the x and the y components have been multiplied by this c value. Okay. Um, and then another thing that's helpful to have for, for vectors is a magnitude. And that is just the length of, of the vector. Uh, if we were using an R and theta representation, it would just be R, but because we have an X and Y, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem and say that this is the square root of X times X plus Y times Y. That's a good first cut on an immutable 2D vector. I'd like to show you how we would use this particular class we're going to create an object. I'm going to put it here in the same file because I'm going to give it the exact same name. This is Vec2D. And technically when you create an object that has the same name as a class, it's called a companion object. But just like a, any singleton object, you can put a main in it and that main will allow it to run as an application. So we can say def main args is an array of string. unit equals okay. So I could declare some vectors and then do some operations with them. We'll make a v1 which is a new vec2d of say 1 comma 2 and then we'll make a v2 which is a new vec2d of I don't know 2 2. Then I want to add those two together to get a v3. So I'm going to say v3 is v1 dot plus v2. So I'm calling our plus method up here and I'm using it to add together these two vectors and just so that we have some output. That's not a v. v3 dot 
<coughs> we'll print out the magnitude of this, which this should be a three by four vector, which should have a magnitude of five. So if I run that, it prints five. Okay, so this is a nice, happy implementation of an immutable 2D vector. Uh, we'll come back and we'll implement a bare bones mutable 2D vector. And then what we want to do is we want to start changing up the code to make it so that it is more the style that we would do in Scala. Basically, this is what we would probably write in Java here. Uh, the only difference in Java is that this main would wind up going in the class as a static method. Detail we don't really concern ourselves with, but this is a, a more Java style uh, for how we would write this code. We want to convert this to use some of the features that Scala gives us to make it basically easier to work with this class.